Um, so reading equals hope times change is right. It's one thing it's a play on words, not really. It's an equation and and the hope is that times do change and and reading equals hope times change is that when we read, um, it gives us a kind of hope and that hope helps us to become the people that can create change because we change. We, we meet a character in a book and we love that character and that character that character gets killed by cops in a case of mistaken identity. It makes us mad and it makes us um, want to change the system that has um, created that kind of ending. And so I think when we read books and meet people who we might not have otherwise have met or when we have these experiences that change us uh, psychologically, we then go out and do the, into the world and um, turn that hope into action. Uh, you know, I just, I mean, when you think of something like the Children's March, I just see that and I have so much hope <laughs> for the world and the way that young people are so dynamic mm -hmm. and, and, and so um, going to make the change that we as adults have not been able to make. And, and it gives me hope and it, make, and it gives me language and it gives me story. Um, I think that's one of the reasons I write is because I have so much hope for the young people I write for and so much respect for them um, and, and where they're living, you know, the moment that they're in. And so, um, you know, everything from conversations I've had, like I had a young Muslim girl the other day ask me if um, writing was a spiritual practice for me. You know, I had a young African-American boy ask me, um, you know, what do you do when kids make fun of you for liking poetry? You know, I had a white boy who said, my family doesn't have a lot of money and I want to be a writer, how can I convince them? Like, so I, I get to see all of this um, socioeconomic and all of these, um, racial um, kind of barriers and questions that young people have. And it speaks to their diversity. Um, it speaks to a diaspora. <laughs> it speaks to so many things. Um, and, and it makes me eager to go back and write. <laughs> so I'm going and I'm traveling, mm -hmm. even though I don't have to, as an ambassador, I think you have to do 10 events a year. Um, and so I'm going to a lot of festivals, I'm going into schools, I'm doing a lot of Skyping, I'm going into a lot of juvenile detention centers and prisons. Um, I'm going in April, I'm going to Mississippi and Alabama and really getting into some rural places where people have never met an author or an ambassador. Mm -hmm. And um, just really trying to engage and get people to see that this is accessible, you know, this dream of writing is accessible, this dream of public speaking or, or being an ambassador or telling stories is something that we've always had in our blood um, and we can take it to the next level. And that, that um, and I think by the extension of talking about that this is, there is no wrong way to read, I think people who have historically been silenced by their quote unquote lack of ability are going to be able to engage and understand that they're spectacular, you know, and, and what they're doing is not wrong.